News date, December 7, 2016. Very good day. Welcome to Warn, World Action and Reaction News. Today's news is. Boeing bets big on India. Bitter memories of being rejected in the then mammoth MMRCA, medium multi-role combat aircraft, competition notwithstanding, the Boeing Defence Company is now gearing up to enter another upcoming contest to supply fighter jets to the Indian Air Force, IAF, in the next decade. During extensive briefings to a team of Indian journalists, Boeing defence officials, including Pratai Yush Kumar, its India head, exuded confidence that the company's most advanced twin-engine fighter jet the F-A-18, Super Hornet fits the bill for the IAF because of its enhanced capabilities. Indeed, apart from a tour of the US Navy base at Norfolk, Virginia, where over 150 Super Hornets are based, Boeing also arranged for the Indian media team to have a look at the Royal Australian Air Force, RAAF, No. 1 Squadron at Brisbane last month. The idea, as Pratai Yushkumar told Bharat Shakti.in, was to showcase the versatility of the aircraft. The RAAF is incidentally the first non-US Navy force to induct the Super Hornet. And, going by the briefing by Group Captain Dennis Braz, commanding the two Super Hornet squadrons, the Australian Air Force is mighty pleased with its performance. Braz claims it's a 4.5 generation fighter with 5th generation sensors and has both air to air and air to ground capability that is unmatched. It is flexible because of its twin seat configuration, and 11 weapon stations. But more than anything else, its buddy tanker capability in a more contested airspace, is what gives the Super Hornets an edge, Group Captain Braz said basing his observation on the RAAF's recent deployment in Iraq and Syria where the planes regularly flew 9 to 10 hour missions thanks to its dual-role capability of using some planes as tankers. Boeing of course has stronger reasons to be optimistic about its chances in India because of its strong presence in the Tier II and Tier III companies based out of India. Currently Boeing has 30 direct and over 130 indirect suppliers from India. The most prominent example is the Tata Boeing joint venture based out of Hyderabad which will start supplying the full fuselage for the Apache helicopters. We are not just aiming to supply fighters but also make India one of the most important part of the global supply chain, supporting the Make in India program, Pratai Yushkumar reveals. This strategy of creating an ecosystem in support of Boeing's global plans is the strongest point in Boeing's pitch for making a twin-engine fighter plane in India although the Indian Ministry of Defence is yet to open its cards on that front although Defence Minister Manohar Parikar had indicated in June earlier this year that India is planning to develop one or two Make in India fighter programs. The lack of clarity notwithstanding, Pratai Yushkumar says that Boeing is planning to support the Skill India mission, one of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's pet projects by opening a skill enhancement centre in India instead of just setting up a manufacturing facility. Ours is a comprehensive, bottoms-up approach, in which we will not only scout for Indian players in composites and precision engineering but also develop a manpower pool of skilled workers, matching the best in the world, Kumar says, sharing Boeing's vision for India. It makes sense. Unlike a decade ago, Boeing has a large presence across the Indian Navy and IAF. While the Air Force has in its inventory the C-17 and C-130J aircraft, the Indian Navy is now operating the Harpoon Missile Armed P-8 is adding to its long-range reconnaissance capability in the maritime domain. The Chinook and Apache helicopters recently contracted for induction in the Indian military will add to Boeing's growing presence in India over the next two-three years, giving it a formidable advantage over its other competitors. Thanks for watching. Please like and share and comment on this video. Press subscribe button for auto update to you regarding my channel World Action and Reaction News, WARN.